Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and I was shopping at Joann's again. Um, okay, so this is what happened. <laughs> I feel like Seta when saying this. Okay, so literally, this is what happened. Somebody who is a Facebook, oh no, who is a YouTube yarn friend, sent me a message and said the next Crochet Now magazine coming out would have um, glittery crochet hooks. <laughs> so I got super excited and was excited, pardon me. I got super excited and started stocking my Joann's. Now, one of the trips there, I was not gonna buy any yarn. I was just looking, I just zip into the front, look for the magazines, see if they had any, and then I would leave. Well, out of the corner of my eye, by the beads, no less, I saw this flyer or this sign that said $1.99 and it had big twist yarn. Now, the reason I'm excited about this is this very much reminded me, and I'm looking at my hoard here, of paint box yarn. So I decided to just go through there and grab a bunch because they were $1.99 each. So this is what they were, big twist, renewal, the recycled acrylic, 290 yards, and this is a DK yarn. So this is a recycled acrylic, and it's a DK weight, which is one of my favorites. This is in the colorway Raspberry. So I grabbed one of those. Actually, I grabbed two of every color that they had, uh, that I liked. <laughs> um, then here's also Turquoise. They don't fool around with their names. They're very to the point, right? And Purple. There, I grabbed two Purple. And I grabbed two pink, right? And I there's there's another one in here. And then I grabbed two dark blue. Now, friends, they had other colors there. Here's another dark blue. They had white, they had a brown, they had gray, they had some greens, they had yellows. But as you know, these are my favorite colors, right? So those are the ones that I grabbed. They were $1.99 each, and um, partly, like I said, the reason I was so excited about them is they kind of reminded me of the paint box yarns, which I can't find off the hand. So I thought, you know, I don't know what I'll make with these. You know, um, the proper pineapple has a really beautiful pattern. I'll look in the link in my description. I'll look on Ravelry and link in the description the pattern that I made with my paint box DK that um, was from the proper pineapple. It was her birthday surprise shawl. Um, but anyway, the, I got those. Did I really need them? Absolutely not. They were just $1.99 each and they were beautiful colors screaming at me from across this way. But sadly that time they did not have um, the magazine. So I popped in like maybe two more times. You'd be so proud of me on those other trips. I didn't get anything. I just zipped in, looked for the magazines and left. Because many of you do know that I'm very blessed to live very close to uh, both Joe Ann's and Hobby Lobby, like literally within five minutes. That's if there's traffic. So I got lucky um, Saturday. I was going to TJ Maxx because my daughter say, had a solo. She just actually, I'm just back now from watching it, um, at our school. Um, and so we went to TJ Maxx Saturday to see if there was anything that she wanted to wear. And I was like, Maddie, just sit in the car. <laughs> I'm going to go in and see if Joann's has that magazine. And you guys, it did. I was thrilled. And look, here is the glittery crochet hook. So I thought I would open this up for, for you guys. I am loving it because if you don't know yet, Crochet Now, I don't think it's created by Bella Coco, Sarah Jane, um, but she is definitely one of their, um, what is she? She's one of their like main features in the magazines. Um, so I am just, I'm just dying here. Okay, so first, a year of crochet, 12 patterns. Now, you guys, you need to race your little patooties to, oh, I'm so excited. 
<laughs> you need to race your little patooties to Joann's and get this because all of the patterns that were in her crochet society boxes are here. Now there's a lot of you that wanted this pattern. In fact, I made this for my sister's or my daughter's teacher um, last year. I work with her and I gave it to her. But anyway, this is the Meadow Sweet Shawl. Now, of course, I have all these. Um, these are the little glove mitts that came in like one of the first boxes. Here is, um, oh, I loved this yarn that she gave us for this. In fact, I used it to make this scar scarf, which is right there. But anyway, you could also make these little dishes. Here is a Yeti. I didn't make him either. Here is this shawl that I made and I love this scarf. It's adorable, a very fun pattern. Here is um, a colorway um, pillow, a cell phone case. I didn't make that. The yarn that went with that pattern, which I don't know if they have in here. I made this instead with that yarn. Look at that little cat. I made a couple of them actually. And then I, then um, one of our yarn friends, Chris um, from Hi, It's Chris, she really wanted that. So I gifted her the remainder of the yarn and the pattern and I believe some of the things that came with that box. I just mailed it to her and gave it to her. And then they have this cute little basket. And oh, here's the cat. I love that pattern. It was a it was wonderful to make. Here's a cute purse. And I started this lion. He is in a bag over here. Oh, yeah, here he is. So here is the start of that lion. And here's the hook that came with. So this is very exciting, you guys. So the hope is if you are not a Crochet Society um, person, because it is very hard to get in on her, to get in on these boxes because they're they're very full. Um, run to your Joann's literally and stock them because you can get those patterns, the ones I've been talking about. And then of course, here is her regular Crochet Now magazine. Um, and it says your step-by-step -step guide to the block stitch with Bella Coco. Um, look at this pattern for this. That looks too hard for me, I think. Um, but anyway, let's see if she has that back page. She does not. So we'll just quick flip through this catalog, uh, this magazine, um, to see what we have in here. Looks like this is just an advertisement page. Um, paint box yarn. Oh, and look at this cute little baby. This is a King Cole. I actually was able to get in touch with my yarn shop in Nina and order the King Cole yarn that came in one of the boxes. Um, so I'm very excited about that. As soon as I get it, of course, I'll make a video and tell you. And then I ordered some for my mother-in-law because she crochets and wants to make, um, what? oh, I actually made the scarf for that. I made a lot of them. Um, and I gave it to the art teacher and then I made another one with this kind of yarn, style craft. I got this from Mary from Mary's Chit Chat. I made another one of the scarves. Anyway, with the King Cole yarn, I made some with the style craft. Um, looks like here is a, a wrap, a long wrap the pattern and some kind of a fun ripple black and white blanket. Here's some amigurumi for ZBD and Brian. This must be um, a British or European thing. I don't know who they are. It's a puppet and a snail. Here are some craft room ideas. These were, This was in one of the Crochet Society box too, some of these pictures, because she um, that box, she gave us some things to help jazz up our craft area. Here's that gorgeous pillow from the cover. You know what I found though, you guys? I've made pillows before and I've stuffed them. And then a couple years later, the crochet has either stretched or the inside got dull. And then I'm like, I either have to cut it and kind of like break into it to restuff it. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the situation I have with pillows. 
Here's a cute little baby wearing a sweater. This is made with velveteen yarn. Says it's an easy pattern, quick and easy. Oh, and this is a cute sweater. Look at it on that pretty gal there. Oh, it's the cover one. Yep, yeah, that is, it's got nice billowy sleeves. And then Bella Coco is giving you steps on how to do the birthday block stitch. So if you're interested in that, ooh, look at that, a color wheel wall hanging. Mm, I like that. I, I really am attracted to rainbow things. I don't usually make them though. And then there's an Amagurumi doll. This is Isabelle the doll. Look at her, she's cute. She looks French. And um, let's see what else is there. A green shoots shawl. Kind of similar to that one pattern in the beginning, that blanket. It's a big triangle one. I'm trying to see if I can hold it so that you can see it without showing like, all her notes and secretive stuff. Pink bloom blanket. Um, just a blanket with a pattern of holes. Cute little Easter wreath with a duck. That's adorable. That is from... Val Pierce is the designer of that. Oh, a little bunny. And some Easter, oh my goodness. And some Easter eggs. Look at that, like a daffodil baby and a bunny. That is cute. This designer is Carrie. This is Carrie's journal. And this, I she had an interview or a chat with um, Bella Coco and talks about some of her inspirations and Oh, how she designs these. There, I'll see if I can try to show this to you without showing you the patterns. Look at that mermaid, the start of a mermaid doll. My sad little Maddie, my big girl Maddie, isn't a mermaid anymore. That used to be her thing. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at these little booties. Holy Toledo, those are cute little sheepies and unicorns. These are... Ira Roch Charming New Book Crochet Animal Slippers. And there's sloth ones. Those are adorable. Um, let's see what else here. Oh. oh, and they give you the pattern for the sloth ones. I have to make these. I don't know anybody who's having a baby, but holy cats. Look how cute those are. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm excited about that. Um, let's see here. A local hero, managing director of Rico's Design, LTD, and chairman of the UK Hand Knitting Association. They interview him. They got a bunch of yarn. His name is Michael. Uh, Michael's top picks for his favorite yarn. Um, being American, I guess I'm not as excited about Michael. Who here's a pattern for a sunflower mandala? That's cute. Well, pretty. I bet you Knit and Deb would like that. And then here are pictures of people's work. I really would love to get my stuff shown in her catalog, but I don't ever make anything that is my own. It's always pictures of other stuff. Look at those cute little flower booties. That's from Brenda Anderson. She did a good job. Those are cute too. And the remix beanie. This is... Uh, a cute hat. We got that in there with a fluffy pom pom. And then uh, the Rowan leaf wrap with some big green tassels. <sighs> that is intermediate because you got a crochet with the leaf in there. But all in all, I am very excited about this catalog, you guys. I think my most exciting thing are probably those sloth baby booties. That is exciting. Now, you guys, I am going to do a giveaway. What? If you've made it this long, lucky you, my friend. Here, let's take a look at this real quick. Look at that beautiful purple, purple and creamy color and two stitch markers. So when I went to go buy my magazine, I bought two. Hooray! Are you guys excited? I'm going to give this away. Yes, sirree. I'm going to give this away as a giveaway. So... This giveaway is going to, now this has been pre-recorded, so I took notes. 
hopefully I will get this video up and loaded and running on April 26th and April 26th through April 30th will be your time to enter in the comments below saying you agree to the rules and that um, maybe um, what your favorite thing to crochet is. My favorite thing to crochet are baby blankets. Um, although right now I'm making all the ponchos. Um, yeah, so this is not sponsored by Bella Coco. This is not sponsored by Joann's. This is not st st sponsored by YouTube. This is just me, good old Summer, buying an extra to share for a giveaway. So this is one giveaway. One person will get this whole package, the crochet hooks, the crochet now, and the 12 patterns from the Crochet Society boxes. Woo! Um, okay, quick say hi, because I'm, I'm doing the giveaway right now. Okay, there's Flinners. He's waving hi. Now, because I didn't even know that this was in here, you guys, I have a second giveaway. One person will get this pattern book. Because I already have all those patterns in my crochet boxes, I would like to share this with you. So there's gonna be two winners pulled from here. The first winner will get the whole set, the crochet hooks, the stitch markers, the books, and the main pattern book. And the second person will get this. Oh, and I'll pop in a few goodies, you know. I'll pop in an I love crochet or knitting. Maybe I'll pop in a couple yarns. But that's what the giveaway is for these two things. This is running April 20th, 26th through April 30th. And on May 1st, I will announce the winner of these two things. Please remember that these, these I um, got with my own money. This is not a sponsorship. Although, Sarah Jane, if you ever wanted to help a girl out, I would, I would do that for you. Anyway, like she... I say that she doesn't watch my videos, but she actually has. I, You know, you guys will be shocked. She not only watched one of my videos once, she commented in the video, in the description, in the comments below. And I actually made a video freaking out about how she did. So maybe she does. Maybe she's popping in to watch me again. But anyway, that is the giveaway. So please comment below that you agree to the rules. The approximate value, I'm going to guess, like for the full magazine set is 14 something because my total was $35 and some change. This is obviously partial of that value. I don't know. There's no price. It's, it's a one of a kind. No, not really. But I mean, you can't go to the store and just buy this book. Okay, so please enter below. If you made it to the end of that video, you got lucky and got to see that I put in a giveaway. So I am actually pretty excited just that this was in there. Isn't that exciting? Hopefully you all are able that don't get the giveaway are able to zip down to your Joann's and grab one of those. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.